Hi guys, this video is all about how to root your Samsung device without PC using kernel SDU. That's right, no computer, no magic and no need to download firmware. The only thing you need is your another Android phone. And this is the first ever video upload on YouTube showing how to root any Samsung using kernel SDU without PC. This method is designed for beginner, but I highly recommend to watch the entire video before attempting this on your phone. Also check the description for disclaimer and all the other necessary download link. Now let's dive right in. Alright, the first step to root any Samsung device is unlock bootloader. So let's unlock the bootloader first. For this video, I am using Samsung Galaxy S23, but the procedure is same for all Samsung devices. Now to unlock bootloader, enable developer option by tapping on the build number 7 times until you see developer mode has been enabled. Once done, go back to settings and here is our developer option. Here we need to enable OEM unlock which is uh, restricted by autoblocker. If that's the case, go ahead and search for autoblocker. Here it is and simply disable it. Now go back to developer option and enable OEM unlocking. This option allows you to unlock your device bootloader. Next also enable USB debugging option. It allows our Samsung device to communicate with the PC over a USB connection. Once both options enabled, go back to your settings and remove your both Google account and Samsung account. Also remove any pain or pattern you have. These both options isn't mandatory but it's a safety measure to avoid potential issues. Now it's time to connect your Samsung device uh, to the another Android phone. You can either use a USB O2G cable or you can use uh, Type-C to C cable. So let me quickly connect both the devices. Once the device is connected, you will see a charging notification on your Samsung device. This means the connection is successful. Now it's time to reboot the device. Uh, let me reboot it. And once the Samsung logo disappear, quickly press both volume up and volume down buttons simultaneously. Once the blue screen appears, you can uh, safely disconnect your Samsung device from the another phone. Now press and hold volume up button for unlock the bootloader option. Uh, next you will see an option to unlock the bootloader. Simply press the volume up button again to confirm. Keep in mind that this process will wipe all your data. So make sure you have backup everything important. After confirming your device will reboot automatically. And you will see a warning message indicating bootloader is unlocked. So, or uh, wait for the device to boot up. So the device is now boots up. Let me quickly set it up. All right, device is now booted. Uh, let me open settings and quickly enable developer option. And yes, as you can see, the message bootloader is already unlocked which means we have successfully unlocked the bootloader of our device. Before we continue, if you are finding this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It took a lot of effort to make these type of videos and your support means a lot. Now it's time to move on to the next step, installing kernel SQ application. I will provide a download link in the description so you can download it from here. Uh, let me quickly download and install it. Once the kernel SU is installed, open the app and the first thing you will see is whether your device is supported or not. If it says not installed, then congratulations, your device is officially supported by kernel SU. Now if the app says unsupported uh, like this, uh, it means your device is not officially supported by kernel SU. It just means you will need to compile the kernel yourself. I will try to make a dedicated video on how to compile the kernel yourself. Almost most of the Samsung devices are supported by kernel SU. So if your device chose not installed, let's move on to the next step. Download the kernel as per your device. So to download the kernel, head over to kernel SU GitHub uh, release page. I will leave a link in the description for easy access. Now here is the most important part. Figuring out which kernel you need to download. Open the kernel SU manager app and look for the kernel version listed here. Check for the number after Android, like Android 13 in my case. Now check for the Android 13 kernels uh, in the GitHub page. Once you find out, now go back to uh, kernel SU app again and check for the first few numbers, like 5, 
0.15.14 rate in my case. So you need to search for the exact same kernel. So here it is in my case. Once you have found the correct file, download the one with uh, boot.img.gz uh, extension. Now let's check the downloaded file in file manager. Here is our kernel file. Uh, now to use this file we need to extract it. For that I will use zrecover app. Once zrecover is installed, open the app and navigate to the folder where you save the kernel file. So here is the file, simply extract it. Once extracted, open the folder and rename it to boot.img. Next we need to compress this file to tar format. This is required for flashing using the arrows tool. Once we have the boot.tar file, uh, we need to send it to another device. This second device will be used to flash a uh, tar file into our Samsung device using the eros tool. So let me send this to my another device. So here is our uh, boot.tar file. Next you will also need to download eros flash tool. I have already installed it so let's move on. Now we need to boot the Samsung device into the download mode. To do this follow the same step as we did before. Connect your phone with another device and then restart your phone. As soon as Samsung logo disappear, press and hold both volume up and volume down button at the same time. Once you see the blue screen, press the volume up button once and your device will boot into the download mode. So as you can see a pop-up on Eros tool to access Samsung device. Simply tap on OK to run access. As you can see our device is successfully connected to Eros tool. Now it's time to flash the kernel. Tap on add file and select the boot.tar file uh, which we created earlier. Once the file is added, tap on start to begin the flashing process. In just few seconds, the kernel will be installed and your device will reboot automatically. So the device is rebooting, oh, wait for it. Guys, if your device boots up into the recovery mode, then you will need to format it. Simply use the volume and power key to navigate and select factory reset and confirm. Once that's done, just wait for the device to boot up. Alright, setup is complete, it's time to verify kernel SU is installed or not. So let me quickly download and install kernel SU app. The app is now installed, let's open it. And there we go, as you can see it's working. Which means kernel SU is successfully installed uh, on our Samsung device. Now let's check device is rooted or not. So let me quickly download and install root checker app. Once installed, let's open the app and then click on verify root. As you can see, it shows not installed. This is because kernel SU work on the kernel level, not on the system level. So to fix this, we need to manually grant permission to root checker. Now close all the app and open root checker app again. And there we go. As you can see our device is successfully rooted. So by this way you can root any Samsung device without a PC using kernel SU. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.